In this episode we are still on a beautiful island in Croatia and this time we explore the most interesting bunker where they left some big guns and other stuff behind. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer and with friends I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. In the previous episode you could see how we explore all kind of military relics but to be honest not really top notch stuff since everything was pretty empty. But Today we'll explore the reason why we came to this remote island. Oh, and there are also no creepy critters this time. Move! We need to do a bunker! <laughs> oh no! They think they get food! They follow us! No, stay out! Oh, no! Don't touch the camera! <laughs> oh, epic! Hey little buddies! Oh my gosh. We now hike to the abandoned highlight of the island. The main bunker where big guns are still standing. Three junctions. Yeah, hard to say, eh? Would have been so epic if we could drive the car here. <laughs> and then camp here, eh? Epic and convenient. Yeah. Now we have to check for a plan B. We have an option. Uh huh. Which the viewers will see later. Oh, they like this one. Hmm. This is the main entrance. Newer stuff in there, man. Yeah, I see. It's just this part. Maybe we have to go a little bit further. Damn, this gate is also closed. As far as I can see in all our pictures, this gate has been put here recently. We check the surrounding to see if we can find some escape hatches. We check around the corner. Just a shelter for soldiers. So we walk to the top of the hill, see if there's another entrance. Still no enough. <laughs> no, nothing. And it's pretty, pretty hot. I got scarred a bit more. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a quick look at it. Alright. So I'm just gonna check if there's something here. I don't think so. I think it's just run tunnel to the other side. There you can see it already. There's light again. In this large tunnel they could park military vehicles and other equipment safely. But it's pretty massive and crazy that there are no tags in here. To the left. Oh, check this blast door. My god. That's great. That's crazy. Looks really nice. So let's check how thick this is. Oh, big one. So this is probably where the ammunition was stored. Missiles and fuel were stored here. Somebody did some practicing in here. Bullet holes. More bullet holes. Let me check where this goes to. It goes nowhere. Also the cable tray looks new. Is somebody preparing for World War 3? Oh my god. Bats in here. The 
Pompna Stanica, perhaps the water pump. Oh, here's another door. Yeah, it's the same. So my guess is we need to go to that little part over there. So this road will hopefully take us to the right place. You see this terrain has been leased yeah. with all the animals here, the animal yeah. droppings. So I think we still have one and a half, two hours left Daylight? of sunlight. No, sunlight one and a half. Okay. In daylight too. All right. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Let's hope we'll be in time. Eh? Would be a shame. And we also have a really tight schedule right. again. Since yesterday is uh, running, running. <laughs> Totally different road here. Oh, amazing! Yeah. Barely traces of human. Yeah. Only the lighthouse and this pathway. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> So that means we're in the right direction. About time, man. You got your tetanus shots? Just a shed, unfortunately. We start to see some stuff. There's a staircase going down. Stair, yeah. Stair going down. Turning point. Yeah. In the hills of this island, they had 120 and 150 millimeter artillery. See the entrance over there. We just came from there. Looks like there are many paths. Cool. Let's hope it's one. You see that two things yeah. in a row. We spot a structure on top of the hill, but decide to check the coast first. It's a nice one. No cannon inside it, but it's like a turret. Ah. Looks like they put bricks on it. Here it used to be open. Cannon? Yeah. Okay, let's go down. All right, seems like we found it then. Sweet. Hola! Oh my god. That's a cool one. Wow, big one. This is nice. Can you go further from there? There's another turret. Another turret? Yeah. Smells like a factory here. Yeah, oil. oil yeah. Normally, this is the first thing they take out. Yeah. 
uh, even the seats are still here. Yeah. Imagine sitting here all day. This is the Flak 36 88mm used in Croatia as a coastal defense gun. This is the famous gun used extensively by the German forces in World War II. The Flak 36 is the second mark of the gun which corrected the weaknesses of the original Flak 18. It could shoot between 15 and 20 rounds per minute. The pipes were mined in 1992. Is it camouflage? I think this is from the 70s, yeah, or well, from the Cold War at least. Yeah. Yeah, they really blew this one. Yeah. Out. Oh, what a force! Yeah. I don't want to be standing here when that happens. Mm -hmm. So Ilko says there's another one. Normally you have to imagine yourself how these guns must have looked like in place, but here they just left. Oh, they didn't blow up this one. No. Cool, uh, oh, there's even another one there. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, it's oh. really cool. Oh, I'm really glad we found these, man. So it seems we can go into the bunker from here. It's all interconnected. Yeah. This door is so cool, man. I love these doors. It looks like we entered the weapons room. You can see gun racks on the right side. This bunker seems to be way better preserved as the previous ones we explored in the island. Even the cables are still present. To the right. And to the front. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Look, there's a bit of daylight as well. Ah, yeah. yeah so yeah, check it out. go somewhere. Yeah, yeah, check, check it out. There's quite a lot of uh, airflow here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, look at the doors. Amazing. So I think the cannons are on a separate part and there also should be some barracks and workshops and stuff like that. Oh yeah, this is some kind of workshop, a huh? little room. And bunk beds, all bunk beds there, you see? I don't know, could be, yeah. Can you try if you can just... I think this is for airflow, right? Oh yeah, this is a manual filter. So if something is wrong, yeah. they could manually get the airflow going. You, let's continue. Like this tunnel is more like a natural structure, you see? Like oh, wow. The carved one, right? Yeah. This is the non reinforced part, I think. Yeah. Don't see anything, <laughs> totally different vibe here. This uh, reminds me of my gold mine explorer yeah. in Colorado. Cooling box. Flow channels or something. Ah. Like that. 
Ja, maar dit is een ah, dit is een koeling. Koelbox of zo. And there is just a little tiny hole uh, yeah, in the end. Yeah, you cannot get out. Oh. <laughs> Even basement bath came out. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's another daylight uh, point. You can check it later. Yeah, let's go there. Or there. <laughs> Holy moly! But it always looks big. Yeah. But when you walk around for a few hours, yeah. It's smaller than you think, actually. A few hours, look what you're saying, man. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see here, they had a sewer system. Ah, I need, yeah. I love how clean these rooms sometimes are, you yeah. mm -hmm. All the paint is intact and not any mold and something. Okay, so now we're World War III. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna reactivate this one day. But they have to replace the ironwork. This is also interesting, huh? you see the big curtain, the green curtain? I saw it, yeah. It's also for the camouflage, I guess. Normally when you have such a turret, it's impossible to get inside because it's a, some kind of weakness. If they get in here, the enemy... The sun is setting? Yeah, of course. A couple of minutes. Good condition, huh? Yeah, huh? All the paint and stuff is perfect. Documents? Dates. Okay, I thought it was already closed by then. Yeah. Hey, but it's really special, man, that they just left everything like this. Yeah. When you look back, you can also see the bunk beds. Yeah, indeed. Here, 1998, huh? Indy 98. That's uh, not too long ago. No? <laughs> Here are some uh, drawings. <laughs> yeah, I think we just entered the barracks. On this document, personal information was filled in, like contact details and employment details. After doing research at home, it turns out it's not just a regular Christmas card, but a Christmas card from the Croatian Navy, from the lieutenant of a battleship. Since the military officially left in 1992, I have no clue how these documents ended up here. First aid stuff. Oh, camouflage. Oh, blankets, military blankets. Which you could use for wild camping. <laughs> yeah. How to stay unnoticed. We can use it there to sneak in some places. Huh? <laughs> and these look in a good condition. Yeah. Pretty thick blankets. I guess it must get cold here too. Nice style. Yeah. <laughs> These are the army ones, the army print. Ah, oh, yeah. The heavy oh, blankets. This, this falls oh, apart. really? I, I touch it and. Oh, uh, it's totally it wet. Uh, oh, it's really sweaty. Yeah. Too. Yeah, these were the bats, I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah, but. Uh, it's all too rusty, I think I gotta demolish it when I try to... Uh, At, yeah, uh, just... But imagine how many people. Yeah. I think there's an extra yeah. one normally here, which is taken out already. <laughs> yeah, Great. looks like a Panzerfaust. <laughs> <laughs> the grenade you mean, eh? Yeah, yeah, indeed, yeah. 
It's way more interesting than I expected, to be honest. I like it a lot. Yeah. I would so live here. <laughs> you see, this is the, the yeah. ventilation, and yeah. then you see the extra compartments yeah. here. Yeah. Everything has a function. What I wanted to say, it's good that everything is pretty compact still. And you know, you have to walk like two kilometers, yeah. one mile before you get somewhere. Oh, this is the, one of the main differences. We haven't been here. We're just walking here, you see. Oh, the soldier's wow. entry here. All kinds of uh, closets and yeah. lockers, perhaps, a bit. Oh, wow, generators used to be here. Oh, yeah. A cool uh, panel there. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's take a look. So we're outside again. Oh, the sunset is great, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Romantic boy. <laughs> it's cool, right? Yeah. Huh. Amazing explorer, amazing yeah, surrounding, yeah. amazing sunset. Amazing food. Amazing company. Uh, amazing rest. <laughs> amazing sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not talk about the sleep. Amazing eh? wellness. <laughs> you know the gas mask had the asbestos in them, the old school yeah, ones? Of course, yeah. <laughs> when you look at this, it looks like there's going to be a shithole inside. <laughs> but it's also cool. These bars. Can quickly check. A letter going up. Oh, it's an emergency hatch then. We don't need an exit. <laughs> no, we don't need to get out. I have really bad experiences with this. Can you still move these? Or is it totally no, rusted? No, no, man, it's, it's useless. It's hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> hopeless. Or can we move them? <laughs> yeah. Goat, yeah, big bones. Yeah, yeah, probably got lost then. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We go outside again and enjoy the beautiful sunset. Alright, getting dark, but we're checking the last bits, which we didn't explore yet. Oh, <laughs> little mouse. <laughs> Big 
big door. It's nothing. Oh, well, that's it then. Only toilet paper. <laughs> Yuppie. We go back to the little house we explored yesterday to camp on the roof. We wake up with this view. Yes, man. Ilko got some breakfast. So what happened yesterday, man? So like we were sleeping here in this remote part of the island. Nobody here. And I think it was like at 2.30, 2.45 or something. And I heard a car passing by and it was dry parking straight next to our car. Uh -huh. A couple of guys went out. I could hear them talking. They went to the beach. Had a little chat there even more, and then walked that way. And I heard them speaking constantly. And then I heard, okay, they're back at the car, so they should leave at some point, but they did not. So I heard the footsteps coming closer, went into this building. Bob was sleeping all the time, and I was like, okay, what's <laughs> going on? And then I saw that door and the roof where we are sleeping now lighting up, flashlights in our face, and there was a couple of police guys they searched everything checked our data our details and in the end they just left but it was a bit of a tricky situation in the middle of the night yeah so uh what triggered them i don't know but uh yeah i think yeah. we are quite hidden here but yeah 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 they were looking for drugs and also what was strange only one guy had a police uniform and That's they right. were also in an undercover car eh? yeah so. it's a civil car crazy yeah but i think there were police guys but yeah 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 but still but these are the things you do not want to happen when you're <laughs> camping in the wild no uh, especially not at three o'clock <laughs> you don't want to be seen uh, but, uh, something uh, happened yeah. but, uh, in the end it was all good so. luckily yeah. we could uh, continue sleep uh, you didn't sleep anymore no <laughs> not much at least so they came from this door and all of a sudden this door was like lit up. up by the flashlight and then there was like <laughs> <laughs> My god. Like, Hello? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's time for the next adventure. We take the ferry to the mainland where we continue our trip. On to the next adventure. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up and a comment if you liked the video. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you next week.